Hey, welcome to Guitar Fun 101. And uh, grab your guitars and get ready because we're going to learn a lot of good stuff this week, beginning with how to play guitar tablature and how to hold your pick. And we'll learn a few songs too. So we're going to learn how to hold our picks, how to hold the guitar a, a little bit better. And we're going to learn some songs. So here we go. Our, our student for this week, our guest student, is Josiah. And Josiah, um, are you ready? Yes. Okay. okay. The first thing that we're going to work on is how to hold your pick. So with your right hand, if you're righty, and your left hand, if you're lefty, basically you're just going to create a fist or a karate chop. It's going to look like this, okay? All right? Now, you're going to take your pick, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the pointy side, and you're going to put it right here, and then you're going to close your thumb on it, and there it is. All right? So, so try it out. So you create a karate chop without your pick in your hand, right? And then you're gonna line up the pointy side of your pick as, the, as though it's going right through your hand and you're just gonna squeeze it between your thumb and your pointer finger. Um, the mistakes that people usually make are they hold their pick like this or they hold their pick like this and what you want to do is get it exactly lined up like this. Okay? So not up or down, but just straight through as though there's an arrow going straight through the thumb. Once you do that, squeeze tight, and then don't squeeze tight anymore. Just like loosen up on it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is actually the proper way to hold your guitar. Uh, we had a question from last week and um, it was about where to actually place the actual guitar. If any of you have questions, feel free to send them in. You can send them in to, uh, you can go to the website uh, www.guitarfun101.com and just send them in. The guitar has this curve here. It is actually designed for your leg. So a lot of people hold them like this, and then they just lean back. Try to ho hold it like this and bring it as close into your body as possible. And then you kind of just find the crook of your arm, and you line it up with the very front of your guitar here, and you should be good to go, all right? And we're gonna practice picking our strings, okay? So pick string six, which is your biggest string. All right, that's a down strum. So check each string that it rings. Your pick will probably come loose. So readjust it, and part of learning how to hold it is just getting used to readjusting it every time. So down strokes. And now let's practice some upstrokes. All right, pretty good. Okay, um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about um, a little exercise that builds on the three finger crawl. can do it on string six. It's easier on string one. So be sure to play right along and uh, remember to keep your thumbs behind the guitar neck. Use your fingertips and squeeze like a lobster's claw so that you're actually getting clear sounds. If you're getting sounds like this, go back and practice that three finger crawl until it's clean. Um, so we're going to have you practice the three-finger crawl with alternate picking. Okay. 
So always alternate, down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, no matter what note you're playing, alternate. Great. All right, so you can practice that, doing that all the way up to the 12th fret. Okay, so now that you know how to hold your pick, how to hold your guitar, um, I'm going to teach you some really great stuff. Um, did you know that you, can, that you actually have free access to every song ever written, most likely? Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but you have access to millions of songs on Google. So you can go to Google and you type in the word guitar tab, you type in the title of, of your song, and what's going to come up is something called guitar tablature. What is gu guitar tablature? It is um, shorthand music, but it's just for guitar. Yeah. Um, yes, it is. It's musical shorthand. Uh, reading music requires a lot of time, and it's well worth learning. Guitar tab takes you, it's going to take you, to learn guitar tab, it's going to take you about uh, 10 minutes. All right? What you see in front of you is guitar tab. It has six lines. The, the top line represents your smallest string, string one, this string right here. The the bottom line represents your biggest string, string six, and it's right here. Okay? Um, looking at the PDF, what you're going to see, uh, as you look at your chart, what you're going to see is the numbers on example one are 03355, followed by um, 878787 and so on. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to practice reading guitar tab. What the zero stands for is playing an open string, zero, open on string six. The three stands for your fret, your third fret. So go to the same string and play your third fret. Nice. So, what our song actually is, you're going to figure it out maybe, but the numbers are 0, 3, 3, 5, 5 to begin with, all right? So give that a shot. All right, and I'm going to give you a clue as to what song it is. to try. All right. Um, try it again. Ready? Good. Okay. The rest of it, or the next part, is 878787. So let's try that. All right, so um, if you're just beginning, you can do all of this with your pointer finger. If you're a little more advanced, you can use two fingers, okay? So um, we'll go zero, three, three, five, five. And then let's try this out with two fingers. Give that a shot. Okay, are you ready for the rest of it? Yes. So, here is the whole lick. The, the, the last part is 3 3 5 5. Um, let's see. Ready to try it in stereo? Yes. Okay, ready? So practice that for a while, see how far you get, 
Um, I'm going to give you another song too in Guitar Tab. So remember though, if your notes are coming out like this, all right, that doesn't mean that, that you're doing it wrong. You're doing it right. You're just practicing and you're getting better at it. Um, if you can't do it, that only means that either your thumb isn't pressed down hard enough or your pointer finger isn't pressing down straight um, or your hands are broken and they're probably not broken. So it's just about practicing, that's all. There's nothing wrong, all right? Um, if you have questions, just write us, all right? The song is Happy Birthday, and the actual numbers are 0020. That's example two. And what you do is, all right, so 0020. Great, all right. And then you repeat that. All right, your next numbers are five, four. So it's zero, zero, two, zero, five, four. That's it. All right, the next part. So practice that until you really have it and then move on to this next part, which is zero, zero, two, zero, seven, five. So let's play both parts. Great, yeah, all right, good job. All right, now the, the last part is actually gonna bring you to your 12th fret, all right? Um, so it's zero, zero, 12, nine, bring it on. Good, all right, and then the next part, five, four, two, Ten, ten, nine, five, seven, five. Good. All right. So the whole thing is going to sound like this. All right, so that's an introduction to reading guitar tabs, and I hope that this helps you out a lot. Um, feel free to visit our forum on Guitar Fun 101, and we'll answer what, what, whatever questions you have, and uh, thanks for being here. See you next time.